it's Corey, and today you're gonna learn how to check. I'm so excited to bring this video to you. Finally, it's other than people asking for lead sheets, it's the most requested thing that people ask about. Often, most of my tutorials have an option for checking, and now you'll be able to do that too if you don't already know how to check. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you can always be notified when there's a new video that comes out, which is always on Sundays, but I've also been trying to get a second video up on Wednesdays as well, and hopefully I'm trying to move into more often as well. On top of that, I also have an Instagram. You can check me out at Cory Teaches Music on Instagram. It offers a lot of behind the scenes things, stuff that kind of go on outside of just um, this YouTube channel that I do musically. Um, and also I often give little teasers about tutorials and videos that are to come out. Also, if you haven't already, check out my Patreon. This video is actually thanks to one of my patrons. They are in the gold tier and they asked for a vi uh, to learn how to chuck. And when you're in that tier, normally I will give like a personal video um, to you, but I asked since this is something that a lot of people request if I could just make a full tutorial. So that's what I'm doing today. So if you would also like to have more one-on-one -on -one time with me to answer your questions or to get access to additional resources and all my lead sheets, then make sure to check out Patreon and you can join that community. So. What is chucking? Chucking essentially is when you're strumming the ukulele and then you mute very, very quickly in order to stop the vibrations of the strings and that creates a percussive sound. So essentially it is a percussive sound that you can make while strumming. It's one of those things that a lot of times people add it to various strumming patterns in order to give it a more rhythmic feel, um, especially if you're doing like a cover where it's just a ukulele. It also is a really great way to kind of take a song that would otherwise maybe have a really basic strumming pattern and to add something a little bit extra to it. So the first thing I want you to do before you try to do any kind of chucking with your right hand the same way you would when strumming is I want you to take your ukulele. For me, I'm using a concert size, but again, this works on any size of ukulele. And then I want you just to take your left hand and just set it on the strings of the ukulele. Don't press down, just set them. That's gonna make it so that they can't vibrate in a normal way and they won't sound to produce a regular chord. So what I want you to then do is take your strumming finger, whether you're using your thumb or your pointer finger, and just strum. So you can hear that. It's not vibrating. Now it vibrates to the extent that you can at least hear something happening. And that's me just striking the strings that they don't vibrate fully so they're not sounding fully like they would if I was playing a chord. Now the reason why I'm having you do this is I want you to get used to the sensation of what it feels like in your right hand when the strings aren't sounding the way that they would when you're regular strumming. Instead, they have that muted sound. And again, you're not pressing down, you're just keeping your fingers here. So once you're comfortable with that, then we're going to move on to actually being able to chuck while you strum. Now, there's no big secret here. It's essentially strumming and then resting normally the palm part of your wrist. I'm not sure what the technical term for this is, but right here on um, the palm area of your thumb into where your wrist is, that's where you're gonna be resting. So strum, rest, but it what happens in all one motion. So then you chuck. All right. Now the best way I can describe this as far as an analogy, it's like striking a match. If you've ever struck a match before, you have to get that amount of friction so that the residue on the matchstick hits the 
lighter part of the case and it catches that flame. It's the friction that makes it ignite. And that's what you're doing basically with the ukulele. You're the, but the igniting, it's not gonna ignite in flames obviously, but that's what's going to get that really nice combination. So you're going to strum, mute, strum, mute, strum, mute. Essentially you're gonna keep doing that faster and faster and faster until it eventually becomes one fluid motion. And that's when you get to that match striking place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go strike, mute, strike, mute, and I'm going to speed it up over and over and over again until I eventually I get to the point where it just happens at the same time. Essentially what that is, is I'm striking. I feel like it works better with your pointer finger for those of you that strum with their thumb. I do find it works better with your pointer finger, but you're strumming and then immediately putting your that palm part down. And you can even try it where you strum and the goal is by the time you're strumming this first string, you're already in the muted position. Strum, mute, strum, strum, mute, strum, mute, Strum, and you can hear I'm kind of muting my hands just so used to muting um, like that when I'm trying to, to chuck. So just strum, mute, strum, mute, strum, mute. And you get to the point where it probably will sound something like this. And again, all I'm doing is I'm strumming with my thumb. I think it works better with your pointer finger though. And then I'm resting this part down on the strings not really it sounds like a slap but you're not really slapping if you're if you are kind of slapping the ukulele to start you might find that your knuckle will hit your ukulele it's okay you'll eventually stop doing that as you get more comfortable with it but again it is just alternating between strum mute strum mute and then until it gets to one fluid motion so to review essentially what you're doing is you're strumming and then you're muting with this part of your palm. Again, I think it works better when you're using your pointy finger because your hand's already kind of more into that positioning. Um, I always say when you're strumming with your pointer finger, you start with that L, then you kind of like deflate it a little bit. You take your thumb, rest it between the two joints on your finger. That way it's nice and supported and then the rest of your hand is really relaxed. Um, and then same with the regular strumming. You're not tensing up your arm. It's not a sharp hit with your arm. It's all in the wrist mo movement. And the goal here is that it eventually becomes so fluid that it's just all a part of almost a regular strum and then you're just muting it really quick. I think the biggest problem that people have with the strumming is that they're not muting fast enough and so they let it ring for too long so it just sounds like a mute rather than a chuck. And remember, a chuck is a percussive rhythmic element that you add to your strumming pattern. And so like percussion, it means to hit. That's what the actual word comes from, percussion, it means to hit. It, so you're hitting those strings and stopping the sound. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful in learning how to chuck. And again, this might not be something that you pick up immediately. It does take some extra coordination when you're strumming and then muting really quickly. And it, I know probably when I describe it, it sounds really simple, but I don't want you to get frustrated if it doesn't happen for you right away. Take time. Practice for two minutes a day, every day, and I bet you'll make a lot more progress at the end of the week with your 10 minutes worth of practice time than if you practice for an hour one day and then get frustrated, okay? Again, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. It really does help when with the algorithms and things like that um, so that more people can see the videos and get the help that they need. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.